Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a look for you at what we read last month, which was July 2021. If you're new here, we're a family of seven, and we enjoy reading, and we also homeschool, so we incorporate a lot of books into our homeschool as well. So I'm going to start off by sharing our audiobook that we did. We like to do audiobooks as a family anytime we're in the car, or sometimes over dinner we listen to it. And so this month we listened to On the Edge of the Dark Sea of Darkness by Andrew Peterson. This is part of the Wing Feather Saga, it's the first book. Um, kind of mixed reviews, it definitely started off a bit slow for some of us and it kind of didn't explain really anything until the very last chapter, so it was okay. I didn't love it, but it was alright, <clears throat> something we could all listen to. A few scary parts for younger kids, but overall it was an okay audiobook. We didn't have any read-alouds this month because we're technically not doing school right now. So I'm going to move on to my kids. So our oldest is 13 and he read Jane of Lantern Hill by L.M. Montgomery. This book is actually one we're going to be reading this year. And he said it was okay. He said the grandmas are real meany, so it'll be interesting to see what he means when we read this book. But yeah, he said it was okay. And then he also read the Harry Potter series. So I don't know what order these books go in, but all these books here la, 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 la. <laughs> and all my kids read a lot of comic books and um, Pokemon books lots of comic books so that's my 13 year old he also read the Tapper twins go to war by Jeff Rodkey as well as the cursed child and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So you can tell he's definitely on a Harry Potter kick. My husband has been listening to the audiobooks, and so I think that's kind of inspired him to reread this series. So he's been doing that. So the next is my, how old is he now? 12 year old son. He read Jade Dragons. This is one we've read as a group before, and he's read it on his own multiple times too. That's what it looks like inside. It's a level seven, the Good and the Beautiful Library. So he read that one as well as a lot of comic books. My 10 year old son, he read 20 and 10. This is by Claire Hutchett Bishop, I think is how you say that. Um, he's read this before, it's a short little read. So he read that book. And then he read this one here, Battle for the Nether. This is one of the what are those called? Minecraft books. And I think he read two others, he said, but they'd already gone back to the library. So he's really into those books. And then <laughs> there's a whole pile of Dogman here. So this one just says Dogman, Lord of the Fleas. Crew, where's this one? A Tale of Two Kitties. Dogman Unleashed. And Dogman, Grime, and Punishment. And I've shared lots of these before. If you haven't seen the inside, they're like comics. Graphic novels, I guess they'd be called. So he read those books. You can tell what he's into right now. And then my seven-year-old daughter, she read a few of these as well. She read, I think, two of them or maybe three of them. And then she went through this book here, The Phoenix of Destiny. Geronimo Stilton. My kids used to love these books. I haven't seen them in a while. Um, it's kind of similar that it's like got lots of pictures and the words are colorful and bigger. So she read that one. She also read Helen Keller Into the Light. This is a level two with the good and the beautiful. Their books, especially for younger kids, are just so beautiful. They're just illustrated really well, and really engaging. So those are my kids. My four-year-old is um, not really reading. He's starting to do sight words. So he looks at a lot of books, but he's not, you know, reading yet. Uh, so me. So the first book I read was No Great Mischief by Alistair MacLeod. This was really interesting. I really enjoyed the book. It's about a family um, in Cape Breton in Nova Scotia that has come over from Scotland. And it's kind of through the generation, but it's it's written by like the current generation and he's kind of filling in different stories from his past and stuff um, and just kind of the brothers and the sister and parents and life and 
Canada and that time. And I just really enjoyed the book. I liked it. Then I read Playing With Fire and that's Financial Independence Retire Early. I'd heard a lot about this book and I'd actually been trying to watch the movie but I hadn't been able to find it. And so my library got this book and I thought I'd have a read. It was interesting. Um, I feel like it's kind of like every other financial book in that you live off less than you make, you save as much as you can. It did have a little different part to it that you are investing a lot of money and then you are living off of that. So you can essentially retire early. Um, now the, the author, his and his wife's or partner's pre-tax, no post-tax income when they started was 142,000 US. So I feel like it's kind of more for wealthier people. Like, you know, if you already do, like reading the book, I felt like we already do a lot of these things and we don't have this huge amount to invest every month because our income is not super high. So it was an interesting read. I don't think I would follow a lot of it other than the very basics of spend less than you earn, save as much as you can. So yeah, interesting read. And then I read We Hope for Better Things by Aaron Bartels. I think you always say that, or Bartels. I really enjoyed this book. It's about a newspaper journalist reporter um, and her family and it's set in three different times but they're not like mom daughter grandma it's daughter i think great aunt and maybe great aunt again if i remember correctly so it was really interesting to read um, just about the family and the history and their stories and then kind of how the perception of the stories changes so like the great aunt would say something, but then when you read what actually happened with the double great aunt, I guess, or however you say that, um, it's a different story. Uh, a lot of other themes woven in. Interracial relationships is a big one in there. And just family and, yeah, finding happiness where you are and in your, your life and interesting, very interesting, mixed in with American history as well. So I definitely like that, I'd recommend that book. And that's everything that we read this month. Um, yeah, let me know what you are reading right now because I love to get suggestions. And if you have any questions, you can leave that in the comment section as well. Otherwise though, I hope that this finds you having a great day. Take care.